I had just gotten to work. Uh, I worked at the Music and Arts Center on Kirkwood Highway at the time. And uh, it was about 10 o'clock in the morning when I started my shift. And as soon as I walked in, I noticed that our repair guy, Alex's radio, was on. And I thought, that's odd. He's not normally here on Tuesdays. Um, and as soon as I started listening to what was being said on the radio, uh, it became clear that something major was going on. And uh, I called my mom at home and said, turn the radio on, because uh, we didn't have TV at home at the time. And uh, probably around noon, I, I think I was scheduled to work till 4 o'clock that day, but around noon, um, I just said to myself, we're probably not going to rent very many instruments today, and all else being equal, uh, I'd rather be at home with my family, so... So I asked my boss if I could leave, and she said I could. Um, I didn't know anyone personally who who died that day, but uh, I've known a few people who knew people. Um, I did know a, a guy who was a volunteer firefighter in the Washington area, and I know that he was fighting the fire at the Pentagon that day, and he later traveled up to New York uh, to help with the rescue efforts there because he was also a professional paramedic. Um, it, it was very scary, and uh, I even remember, um, oh, probably a couple of months later, uh, we, we had a board game that was sort of uh, recounting life experiences and one of the question cards was to ask people where they were when they heard about the Kennedy assassination and uh, with the permission of everyone playing I, I modified that question and asked where were you when you heard about 9-11 so that's that's my story <laughs>